Blessings to you. Sharon here once again with you. Coming to share another cool DIY with you. Hoping that you and your family have had a great day so far. So let's get started. So guys, what I have here is a bowl that I've had for so many years. And I don't really use it because of the colors. So I want to repaint it using the red, black and white. Of course, this is a piece of I'm going to be using for the Independence Holiday. And if you're hearing in the background some nice soothing music while I chat with you. So, let's start this. What I'm doing is, I wanted to paint it in white but I did not have white. But I have the silver metallic. So I spray the pieces. And I would still get that little touch of the, the silver in the background. But I'm going to be painting over with white. So these are my paint colors here. So I'll just paint on the white. Of course I'll still see the silver coming through. But that's not a problem. Because it's going to be painted anyway with the other colors so I'm going to be doing an abstract painting on this piece so I'm just trying my best to brush it on so that you're not going to see most of the um, silver paint So I've already done the other piece and I'm um, just brushing up a bit. So now I'm going to start my painting. I'm going in with some sort of swirls with the black. Just creating patterns at random. Of course, I'm going to neaten it up after because I'm not concentrating on the edges right now. But I will go back in and clean up the edges. So I'm just going to be doing this right around. Like I said, I will clean up the edges, of course. And of course, I'm going to give it a second coat. Now these things are, I realize it's so simple to do, um, you know, anybody could do it, you don't have to be an artist, I'm not an artist, but just, you know, put your ideas to a project and you do it, and you will achieve so much. And I'm enjoying the music while I'm chatting with you guys. I hope you are too. So our Independence Day is on the 31st of August. And our national colors are red, white and black. So this piece is specifically geared towards that. When, I, when I'm actually doing my entertaining, I'm going to be using these pieces. So, you guys will see, just like me, how it's going to turn out. So. So that was the second coat here. I'm going in with my red paint now. Just creating designs. It's not anything that I thought about. So I'm just going with the flow right now.
and the brushes the brush strokes are just random patterns so you're gonna see some of the brushes you know crisscrossing and overlapping the black and so on so that's the design I'm going for I'm, I'm not overthinking it too much I'm just letting my brush do the work brush strokes are not you know one direction it's non-directional it's going crisscross and so on I'm gonna touch up clean up the edges go over with a second coat and then put some final touches on the piece so I'm just going around these the inside I'm not painting the inside I'm leaving that the silver tone and I'll just do some touch-ups on it so this is the second coat in I'm coming in with my fine brush now and just doing some little lines doing a little swirl creating an outline for the piece And it's almost done as it is here so I'm mixing my black and my white so you get a little contrast going on there very much enjoy doing these little projects I mean it's it lets you think about something else and it's a kind of de-stressor and it's a really enjoyable thing when you're doing crafting I'm really passionate about my crafts so it's almost done here I'm just putting in the last bit of it. So I'm just going to do a little piece on the inside, nothing much. Just going in with my fine brush again. And just creating just a little contrast there to break up that tone in the center. Of course you're hearing my family in the background also so this is the other piece that I've done to go with the set and I'm really satisfied with how it looks so I hope you have enjoyed and I appreciate doing these pieces for you and I'll catch you later